Okay, so for circles, circles have the property that if you go from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle in any direction, you're going to have the same radius, the same length. So we have this picture, and we have a radius going from the center out to the exterior. So what's the equation for this? Well, imagine this is 0, 0. Okay, we want to be able to travel in any direction and have only traveled r. So you could think about the y and the x axes, and then this is going to be very similar to the unit circle. So if I'm going to travel over this far and go up this far, and I only want to be r away, we'll say that you have to travel x over, you have to travel y up, and then you only should have traveled total r to get to the edge of the circle. And so just like in the unit circle, if you look at the picture I've drawn, you have an equation using Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now r is always going to be the radius of the circle. So people might say, give me the equation of a circle with radius square root of 7. Okay, square root of 7. Why is it such a weird number? Well, this turns out to be a nice number when you put it in the equation. Because we're going to use x squared plus y squared equals... And now you would normally take r and square it, but in this case, if you have square root of 7 and you square it, you're going to end up with just x squared plus y squared equals 7. And so that's the equation of a circle. Now it gets a little tricky because we're going to figure out the, the general equation for these conic sections, but then we're going to have to shift them to the proper center point. So, for example, let's do another circle. Let's say that the circle has a center at 3, negative 2. And we want the radius of the circle to be, let's say, 5. Okay? So they might not draw a picture for you. They might say, in words, the center of the circle is 3, negative 2. The radius is 5. Here's what we do. We think of the normal circle centered around 0, 0. So the radius, because it's 5, we're just going to put in 25 here. 5 squared is 25. Now what we have to do here is take this circle right here, which is centered around 0, 0, and shift it 3 over and then 1 up so that it's at the correct center point. And if you remember in transformations, to get like a parabola to shift to the right, we actually have to subtract inside of the function. And so for us to get this moved 2 to the right, we would have to do x minus 3 squared. So I'm taking that center point. It would, it, without this shift, x squared plus y squared equals 25 would be a 0, 0, but I'm shifting it 3 to the right, so I have to do x minus 3 squared there. Plus, and now to get down 2, we want the y to be shifted down 2. And so this is actually going to be y plus 2. And so this right here is the equation for a circle that has the center at 3, negative 2, and has a radius of 5. So a lot of times what they'll do is they will give you two points here. They'll just give you those and say that that's the diameter of a circle. And then they'll ask for the equation of a circle. So what you have to do here is think, all right, well, if this is the diameter, then exactly halfway would be the center point. Now, if you know the diameter and you know halfway to the center point, well, first of all, the center is where you need to shift to. So just like in this example up here, you could make the equation of a circle and shift it to the proper spot. But not only that, looking back at this picture here, you could know the radius by looking at the distance between the center and the edge. So I'm going to give you guys a problem here real quick. I'm just going to give you x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. And I'd like you to pause the video and just, just tell me what is the center and what is the radius. Okay, so going backwards, the center is going to be where this has been shifted to. 
but it's the opposite inside. So, so with these conics, you're going to have these parentheses with a, like a plus three, but that actually means the opposite. So x is horizontal, that would be minus three. Y, since it's y minus two, it's going to be positive two. That is the circle center for this. And then the radius is going to be the this r squared. But because something squared equals 9, you have to go backwards, and the radius is 3.